Hello and welcome to a yet another random Wikipedia article of the day, the place where you can, instead of reading information yourself, listen to some uneducated individual Babylon and stumble th through his way through the um, words that he is reading off the screen to educate you. All right. My name is Colin Allen, and today's topic is serotonin syndrome. Serotonin syndrome is a potentially life-threatening adverse drug reaction that may occur following therapeutic drug use, inadvertent interactions between drugs, overdose of particular drugs, or the recreational use of certain drugs. Serotonin syndrome is not an idiosyncratic drug reaction. It is a predictable consequence of excess serotonergic activity at central nervous system and peripheral serotonin receptors. For this reason, some experts strongly prefer the terms serotonin toxicity or serotonin toxidrome because these more accurately reflect the fact that it is a form of poisoning. It may also be called serotonin storm, hyperserotonemia, and serotonergic syndrome. There are lots of names for this one syndrome. I guess I'm, I'm going to go with toxicity. I think that's, since, since that's what some experts prefer to call it, that's what I'm going to call it. Because it, it's, it's a serotonin toxicity. Because, because, because it's toxic. The excess serotonin activity produces a spectrum of specific symptoms, including cog cognitive, autonomic, and somatic effects. The symptoms may range from barely perceptible to fatal. So, a wide range of options. You may be like, hmm, something's a little weird. You may be like, oh, I'm dead. I knew you needed a little clarification on that. Numerous drugs and drug combinations have been reported to produce serotonin syndrome. Diagnosis of serotonin syndrome includes observing the symptoms produced and a thorough investigation of the patient's history. The syndrome has a characteristic picture, but can be mistaken for other illnesses in some patients, particularly those with neuroleptic malignant syndrome. No laboratory tests can currently confirm the diagnosis. Treatment consists of discontinuing medications which may contribute and in moderate to severe cases administering a serotonin antagonist. An important adjunct treatment includes controlling agitation with benzodiazepine sedation. The high profile case of Libby Zion, who is generally accepted to have died from serotonin syndrome, resulted in changes to graduate medical education in New York State. For more information about serotonin syndrome, please go to wikipedia.org slash wiki slash, slash serotonin underscore syndrome. The link will be below in the description. Also, I just wanted to mention that uh, there's been a recent study um, with mice uh, and their serotonin levels that uh, mice with lower serotonin levels were more likely to basically not give a fuck who they slept with. So, so um, yeah, they were just more likely to, uh, you know, not care what gender or, you know, anything. They were just like, oh, I'll sleep with you because, it, you know, it feels good or whatever. Not that that is what causes people to be homosexual or anything. It's, it's more just like it, it, <laughs> it makes you not care, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I did. I, I briefly looked at it at like a little thing, and I heard something on the radio. But anyway, look it up yourself, because that's not my job. I, I'm here to talk about Wikipedia. That was something else. Figure it out. Particularly those with ne particularly those with neurolep particularly those with neuroleptic malignant. Malignant syndrome, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, neuroleptic malignant, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Words are hard to say. Benzodiazepine sedation, benzodiazepine sedation, benzodiazepine, benzodiazepine sedation, benzodiazepine sedation, benzodiazepine, diazepine, diazepine. Diazepine? Diazepine. Diazepine. Benzodiazepine sedation.